I'm coming with your wine. Ah, look who has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion, the city of wine. Women, whatever a magi like you desires and deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek, you arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah, I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. Mm. Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seas. We are expecting Pompey and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hands that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the Order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brother's inner circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug. He leads them. Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Votuo! Just kill me already, you coward! 
Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients, like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. Right. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit-giving is my job. I just fucked those twins up! Then it's all... Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main Philakis is a man named Venator. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Gabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday. So don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabignani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She's a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. By Anubis, this place has been busy. Venato does not walk alone. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Lutes, lipstick, and scented oils. While women of the street here, 
and Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. I fear the Queen was right. Venator is plotting. Mm. Aye, but I need more information. Something is missing. Crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants, they will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike. How do I look? Later on, I plan on playing the lute for the queen. You look great. You are with the music. Oh. Oh. Alexis! He was an imposter. A Roman man who wants to kill the queen. I am doing you a favor. Never a dull moment in this town. This area is off limits.
Die eine Knippe oh. fällt da in nur. Ah ja, mein Love. Back. <laughs> Aha, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Save a place in the duat for your brother Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Aye. I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. Appears those Gabinianis oh. left us a feluca. Kind of them. Can you suggest it? <laughs> Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war. One simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear debts? No. An un... Ah, Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No, no, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. 
I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. Mm. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fall, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth. Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a higher hull than two. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch, and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only deed into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of decency. Only a shred. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Allah! We are not in no time! Give them a taste of our fire! Arrows incoming! Fire! Shit! Got us our time! Fire! Got us! Down! 
Well done, then! The sea craft comes naturally to you! Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! There! More Ptolemy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked that will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ala la la la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya! Our catapult will fire upon your order! Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And there! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! Ah, la la la! The fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire will burst upon them. Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up, and tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! Ah, la la la!